what's up my people welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and click that tap bell icon to get notified when there is anything new on the channel and like this video for me please and thanks so people we are gonna start it off with the triple knockings and clappings we're going in a grand spin so them charge a man finally for the knockings and clappings remember them all lamp on i think three or four person so let me just jump in at this quick and fast people 30 year old kyle williams of adman lane grand spin kingston 8 who was previously charged with breaches of the firearm act was slapped with additional charges in relation to the triple knockings and clappings in grand spin on sunday september 24. williams who was charged on september 29 with unauthorized possession of a prohibited weapon unauthorized possession of ammunition and possession of assorted parts of a prohibited weapon is now facing three counts of knockings and clappings he is being charged with the dropout of 34 year old Gawain Harvey, otherwise called Omar, a construction worker of Park Road in St. Andrew, 49 year old Shane Brooks, farmer, and 51 year old welder of Grandspin Avenue, Kingston 8. Christopher Garden of Grandspin Avenue, Kingston 8. Reports from the police are that about 3 10 pm, Williams and three other men armed with GUNS pounds upon the men who were at a construction site they opened fire at the group after which they escaped in a waiting motor vehicle william was taken into custody following an investigation and additional charges were laid against him on sunday october 9. so i guess him not in other three or four person where them did wall and pan after the knockings and clappings because them get away in the car but the police them corner them and them take with themselves and the police them end up wall on upon them so maybe one of them give some information and them go wall on upon this uh, extra money so me i say and charge him so people a whole lot are going in the space right now so as me say me now nah holding up me just I go share it with you guys quick and fast right so a quadruple knockings and clappings go on over in a Trelawney. This are the first article where them published quadruple M U R D E R in Trelawney, two women among victims. And there's an update also. Four people, including two women, were K I L L in a G U N attack at a premises in Danville, Trelawney, on Monday night. One resident told our news team that the four were two common law couples who live in the Mountain Street area of the usually peaceful community. The names of the deceased are not yet known. The attack by unknown assailant was said to have taken place shortly after 10 p.m. More to come. So people, may I go just jump in at the update right here now. Seeing victims of Trelawney quadruple knockings and clappings identified the police have disclosed the identities of the four people who were gu and down during a home invasion in donville trelawney monday night the deceased all of trelawney addresses have been identified as 51 year old cordell graham otherwise called Bia, 43 year old nicole white otherwise called sheena both of donville district 21 year old amelia livingston otherwise called melia and 27 year old Akeem Robinson, otherwise called Eddie, and Petro, both of King Loss District. Reports are that about 9 50 pm, the Falmouth police were summoned by residents who heard explosions. Upon their arrival, the police saw four people suffering from GUN SHOT wounds. They were taken to hospital where they were pronounced. Four children and other individuals were reportedly at home were unarmed so me glad all them now hurt the children them you see me i say at two time we see some knockings and clappings here now in a recent time and them not trouble the youth them that is a good look still you know what i mean i'll do we know can do on where them do because most things can talk over you know what i mean you know have to resort to violence every time you're a person in a vibes me no know what cause this still but me just i say most knockings and clappings are vibes people and people in a first and then it lead to that if you're in an argument with a person please just walk away you know what i mean yeah walk away for your friend you can chat to them later on if i know your friend avoid that person you understand 
so people just leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel you know what i mean and after you subscribe just click that top bell icon so a short while ago people two person get can and drop out in a spanish tone so let me share that with you guys right two k-i-l-l in spanish town g-u-n attack sections of young street in spanish town saint catherine are now black following the fatal shooting of two men by g-u-n men this morning it is reported that about 8 15 a group of men were conversing along new gen crescent and young street when they were attacked by g-u-n men who opened fire when the s-h-o-o-t-i-n-g ended Two men were found suffering from GUN SHOT wounds. They were rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where they were pronounced. The Police Major Investigation Division is probing the incident. So, people may have one of them on them picture. May I put it right here? So, so it's alleged that this man here, I one of them on them will get can. Them say he's a taxi driver. You see me? I say, so people, it look like say maybe. Them go for maybe one or two man out of the group and them just can up the entire group and two man get can and drop out. I don't know if the two man them will get can and drop out at the intended target. Because you know how Spanish town flare up more while. You understand me? So just stay tuned my people and make sure you subscribe to the channel so as soon as there's an update and I share it, you can, you know what I mean, get the update right so like up the video also my people and let me know what you think in the comment section so people let me move on you know a youth get can up and drop out in a porous you see me i say i'm picture this is it so man s-h-o-t and him drop out in porous police are probing the m-u-r-d-e-r of a man following a g-u-n attack in porous manchester on monday night Police named the deceased man as 25-year-old Jamario, Jamario Sewell, a resident of Redbury District near Poros. A police report said about 8.15 p.m. Sewell was among a group of people sitting on a veranda on Magill Street off Old Poros Road when they were attacked by G.U.N. men. Police said the attackers assaulted another man before opening gunfire it in Sewell multiple times. Sewell was taken to hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E police said the other man was treated and released. Statistics from the police show that up to September 30, Manchester recorded 28 M-U-R-D-E-R-S since the start of the year when compared to 43 for the corresponding period last year. So people, let me know what you guys think in the comment section me don't know whether you are involved in her because it look like see him them definitely go for because the next you dip on the ends and them just beat him up and even a can him not get neither one single can him not get but them can up this a youth here so people let me know what you think again in the comment section make sure you like this video and also subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon to get notification bless up